yeah, um, hard fought game. We knew it was going to be that way going in. At uh, the end of the game, I have no idea what the hell went on there. I'm looking forward to hearing an explanation for that. Under my understanding, we got up, we completed the ball, we clocked the ball. That last play should be over. Okay, um, I'll have to get a ruling on that, and I have no idea what happened there at the end of the game. So with moving the ball here, moving the ball here, moving the ball here, moving the ball here, and we're going through different situations, okay, in the game, and it hope and it's not it's not anyone's fault. It shouldn't have gotten to that point, but it is what it is. And so um, obviously we're disappointed. Um, we're disappointed. Uh, lost three in a row. It is what it is. Our record is what we are. It's what we are. We are where our record says we are. Um, on a brighter note, I would love, I want to give a huge shout out to hats off the heroes guys that signed this ball for me. Um, huge. This is something I'll be in my, in my office, at my house for the rest of my life. And I uh, just want to thank you. Thank those guys for, for doing that. And, and this is one of the most special things I've, I've ever received. And so uh, I want to thank everyone for doing that, for, for signing that ball for me. Um, you know, like we knew it was a hard fought game. I mean, we come in and, you know, you get 21 first downs, you can rush for over 100 yards, you know, you hunt 370 yards total. The two things that killed us were penalties and, and, and uh, turnovers. Excuse me, not the penalties, the turnovers and the lack of red zone efficiency. I called a bad play call down there on a toss play. Bad, bad play call by me. Ho horrible. Okay, one of my worst of the year. So uh, I'll own up to that for sure. Um, and, uh, but we got to be better down there. And myself included, and we will be. We will be. There's no give up on our football team. Um, I was proud of the way our guys fought through that whole game. There were a lot of up and down moments, and uh, I was proud of the way our guys fought. And uh, so we'll 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 be disappointed tonight, and, and but tomorrow it, it's on to Michigan. So um, I'll take some questions. From that moment? Um, well, I mean, I just want to get an explanation on what happened. I mean, that play should, I'm not going to comment on it anymore um, because those guys have a hard job. Um, what we can learn from, and I told our team in there, uh, this is where you're, you're, this is where people's character shows up, either good or bad. And uh, we have a lot of good character on our team, and, and I know we'll bounce back, and I know there won't be any finger pointing. So. Uh, I, it's my job to make sure this team doesn't splinter. And uh, it's really easy to do in pro football when you've lost three in a row. Sure. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, that was a positive for sure. Yeah. Um, the, you know, I'll give you, let me see if I can find it here. Uh, um, this, oh, thanks. We got, uh, yeah, Johnny Dixon had six for 97. Jonathan had six of 88. Sage, five for 64. So we spread the ball around, and that's our goal each week is so people can't double us and do all those things. And so we, we, we have, we try to do that. But yeah, that was a positive for sure. Yeah, I think uh, I'll answer that question as a as a macro of the whole game. I think that <clears throat> until you watch the film, you don't know the whole picture. But what sticks out early is, is kicking a field goal inside the five yard line twice early in that game. A, a, a wide open throw to JD. I try to put too much touch on it, threw it over his head out of the end zone, and then I probably should have trusted Sage on on a little Mario uh, play where we, we cooked up pretty good. So that I always take accountability for myself first, and I think if we punched those in early. I think that's a different ball game. Um, late in the game, I'm really proud of the way this offense fought. You know, we've had two really hard weeks. I've had two really hard weeks, um, and there was no blink. You know, it felt like we were just pushing against the wall and pushing against the wall. And I knew the dam was going to break at some point, and everyone on that offense pulled the rope, and they did an unbelievable job of. of fighting through it, man. It's frustrating when we're a good offense and you're not moving the ball how you want to. You're not one putting up points. But we started moving in the second half. And and then the third part that I would add to that is I've, I've played against 12 men, and we played against 12 men today, and that was frustrating at the end. 
the drive before that, the, the, the DB clearly kicks out his leg and trips our receiver. And I, it's tough. I've played against 12 men, and it's a hard game when it happens. Oscar, buddy, I need a Corona right now. <laughs> a couple of ones. Clash, and, uh, can, you, can you send me a 12 pack? <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> Thanks. Coach, uh, a tough uh, game, you know. Uh, I know the, the officials are part of, of the game, but every day is most hard to understand what is a catch, what is not. And, and the final minutes was a, a, a crazy one, no? Uh, uh, with, the, with the officials. Uh, how do you feel? The season is not over yet, obviously, no. but it became most hard. And this kind of stuff really, really can be a, a, a topic for the end of the season. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate you every week, Oscar. You're a good guy, man. Um, you know, I, I really, I, one thing I don't want to get lost in this whole thing at the end of the game, okay? And, and, and because the Birmingham Stallions played a very good football game today. Okay, so I don't want that to get lost and, and us to sound like we're sore losers. I, I don't want that to happen. Okay, the Birmingham Stallions played a really, really good football game today. All right, so I'm not, we're not crying over spilled milk. What happened what is what happened, happened. We'll get an explanation on it, um, an honest explanation, and, uh, you know, we'll move on. But yeah, I mean, I think when you were in that locker room, Oscar, I think you could, you could, there's a sense of urgency in our organization every single day, but obviously now it's, it's, it's even heightened even more. Coach, I have a question for you. Can you elaborate just a little bit? Thanks so much, Coach. Thank you, Oscar. So how competitive this league is this year? Oof. How we did it in the past? Yeah. I mean, look at all of our games. Look at our games. I mean, they've all I, – I, I don't know. I, you know, a lot of them have been one score. I've come down the last drive or – yeah. I mean, it's uh, – and that, that's a sign of a, a, a strong league. You know what I'm saying? And overall, if you look at a big picture and, you know, the hard work that, you know, Daryl Johnston and, and, and Jim Pop and everybody works works in our league, it just shows the hard work pays off, that it's a very competitive league, it's very well played, it's very well coached. And um, so, yeah, there's it's, it's hard every week for sure. Coach, thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Usually the day after the non-boot ain't a lot of fun, but what's that? I would I, it's my second game that week. Thank you for thank you for noting. Thank you.